Hello, friends. <clears throat> Welcome to another episode of Failed uh, Free Energy Devices by Tanner Gousset. And yeah. So, in this episode, uh, we'll be featuring uh, the works of Howard Johnson and uh, his um, magnet motors. And um, yeah, let me just show you what his uh, basic concepts are. Uh, he basically says uh, that the magnetic field is um, composed of, um, well, let me just show you here. Uh, Here we go. Okay, this is the magnetic field. It's composed of like four quadrants, like like this would be like the North Pole, this is the South Pole. And uh, his basic uh, concept is that you can, oops, if you position your magnets uh, correctly, you can have them interlocking, like, like the fields can actually interlock with each other and cause a directional thrust. And so, in other words, you can get perpetual motion out of um, permanent magnets. And, uh, yeah, you know, that makes sense because a magnetic field is all about uh, perpetual motion. I mean, that's really what a magnetic field is. It's just um, energy that's perpetually m moving and, and revolving and spinning. So, uh, if you can set your magnets, uh, correctly, you can get them to, uh, spin all on their own, uh, forever. So, uh, yeah, basically this is the system. The hardest part is this banana shaped, uh, magnet. And so I'll just show you, uh, and for anyone who is trying to um, recreate this uh, magnet motor by Howard Johnson, uh, don't use ceramic magnets because they're very bulky and uh, low powered. So you're gonna end up, um, it's gonna be uh, more difficult than, than if you had used um, like neodymium magnets. And, you know, there's examples of working uh, systems on the internet already. And I'm going to probably switch to a neodymium uh, all-magnet motor. And also have a 3D printer to uh, create more um, precise uh, components. And, uh, yeah, so anyways, here it is. Um, it doesn't work. I'll show you. Uh, wow. So it spins uh, for quite a while. Like it seems to be quite um, efficient. And, you know, it's even possible that I have succeeded here, but because uh, of air resistance and perhaps the bearings, uh, you know, being causing resistance of their own. Um, the added energy from the magnets isn't sufficient to overcome the resistance. So the thing, in other words, uh, slowly starts to slow down and eventually stops. And, you know, I've been playing with these, with the ba banana shaped uh, magnets. Um, I used six of them. I have them, I have, I have them here. Oh, they're like super cheap, like little ceramic magnets. Um, I used six of them originally and then when I switched to eight like per um, per banana magnet um, I found that the efficiency increased by quite a lot so my next uh, move will be to increase um, the uh, the arrays uh, to ten magnets and you know see what that does and basically tinker around as much as I can until I'm satisfied that the system 
will not work, and then I'll switch to neodymium magnets. And then from there, uh, if I do succeed, I probably won't show that because, uh, you know, people are still being murdered and uh, other things for showing, uh, you know, free, like, basically anything that um, flies in the face of uh, the controllers. Okay, now it stopped. So I'll just show you here. See, I've got eight of them. I've got eight of these magnets in this uh, banana shape. And I'm gonna add one more on each end to make 10. And I'll just, you know, I'll experiment also with the distances between like the moving armature and the static uh, magnets, like the stationary magnets. I'll experiment with that distance and then uh you know hopefully get the uh the magical uh perfect setup so that the thing will actually work which you know in all likelihood might be impossible due to these magnets because really you want like a single magnet that's completely continuous like not a bunch of small magnets with spaces in between them like this so yeah, um, you know, if you're serious about this, use neodyniums, use square neodyniums and get a 3D printer and make like precision um, components, you know, make sure that it's perfect in other words. And uh, yeah, that is all for now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.